Hello my friends, I'm so excited today I will teach you how to make a stop motion animation on your phone for free with a free app called uh, Stop Motion Studio and we'll do this today, we'll go through the setup, what do we need to create a stop motion and we'll also go through the app and see every setting on the free version, they also have a paid version, we're not going to get into that today but we'll go through the free version and see how to use it, how to create a stop motion so let's get right into it. What are the things we need to create a stop motion animation? We obviously need our phone. We also need a tripod or a way to, you know, hold our phone into place without moving because you do not want your phone to move as you are taking the pictures. If you do not have a tripod that can hold your phone, you can also just use one of these A clamps and they work really, really well. You just basically clip it on your phone like this set it on the table and it holds it stable and that seems to work really well. Most people have one of this in their garage or somewhere so you can use that. Another thing we need is uh, you can use your headphones to release the shutter on your phone so you don't have to touch your phone and accidentally bump it and move it around. So if you plug in your headphones and then you just use your little volume remote here, especially the up one, when you click it, it takes a photo and then that's what you're using for your shutter remote. Alternatively, you can also use a specially designed shutter remote for your phone. This little thing, you can buy it on Amazon, it's very, very cheap. I'll put the link in the description below if you're interested. And you can use this to trigger your shutter so you don't have to use your headphones. Or, you know, if you don't have headphones and you never use headphones, this might be a cheaper alternative. Just get one of this and you can use it for your photos. What else do you need? You probably need a base and a background just to, you know, set up your scene for your stop motion. I will show you my little setup here and um, then we'll get into the app and see how it works. So here is my scene. I have a backdrop on the bottom and then I have a backdrop on the vertical position over here. And then I will make this truck just goes through the scene and that will be our little stop animation demonstration. So let's, um, let's go through the app settings first. I am going to, let me just screen record here. Now let's quickly go through the buttons and settings in the app. When you first open the app, you will find this dialogue over here. And to start a new movie, just click on the plus where it says new movie and now we are filming a new movie. Now, the right top, you have your camera. That's where you go to start taking photos for your uh, video. I'm gonna go back really quick just to show you some other settings. The first thing you wanna change when you start the video, you wanna go into your settings over here. Hold on, I'm sorry. Over here on the left, where is the gear? And go on this little clock thing and make sure you set 12 frames per second. This is very important. Stop motion animation is usually done between 10 and 12 frames per second. Click done. And that means that if I want to move this truck in the frame from this point to this point, and I want it to go really fast, like to go in one second to go through the frame, that means I have to take 12 photos. I move it along, I take 12 photos, and that will be one second it will pass through. If I want to go three seconds, then I have to make sure it goes 36 photos, 36 frames. Um, what else do you have here that is important? Onto your gear icon, you can also go into this dialog and choose your aspect ratio. I really like to keep mine on 16 and 9. Then once you're onto your camera menu, this is where you have your timer. If you want to put a timer for you when you take a photo so you don't accidentally bump into the, you know, have vibration into your phone. Then you have your play button. We don't have anything to play yet because we have not taken a photo yet. Then here you have some settings where you can choose which lens on your camera to use. And if you want to keep your camera on manual focus or auto focus, we'll just keep it on auto for now. We'll just keep it at the default. And then on the left side, on the bottom, you have a grid. If you need to line up things, you can use this grid. I'm going to keep it off for now. And then this line over here with numbers on top, those are, you will see one, three, and five as you tap through them. That is your onion skin. And what is an onion skin? Well, if I take a photo right now, let me move this line all the way to the top. And if I take a photo now on my truck and I'm trying to move it, you see, I don't see where the truck was before. How much did I move it? 
So I don't have any guidelines when it comes to that. But if I move this onion skin line down, you see I have this like ghosty image that I can tell exactly where my truck was and I can have a better idea how much do I need to move it. So now I'll take a picture and now I move it again and take a picture and so on. And uh, that is pretty much all the settings you will need on the app. And we'll make a whole little setup here and we'll start uh, taking a little video. I'll show you how to export it. And then if you want to go a little bit fancier, you can take into iMovie, which is another free app and add some titles and music to it. Uh, or you can just buy the, you know, premium version of this app and then you can do that in the app. But I think iMovie works a little bit better. So here is my scene. I have a backdrop on the bottom and then I have a backdrop on the vertical position over here. And then I will make this truck just goes through the scene and that will be our little stop animation demonstration. So now that we know our settings, let's um, make a new movie and we'll make this little truck go through the scene. Let's set up for that. I will exit this because we'll create a whole new movie. I will use my A clamp for this. I'll just set it like this on the table. Just pretty much like this. Just make sure it's flat. I will go to the plus icon to start a new movie and let's make sure that I'm going to the 12 frames per second, just like that. And now when I'm looking into my frame, my background, it's not big enough. Um, so you can see part of the studio. So what I can do is go back into the gear icon and go into this tab and choose a square aspect ratio. We'll pretend this is for Instagram and we'll just go with that. There you go, great. Say done. And now we'll go back to the camera because we'll start taking photos. I will use my shadow remote just because I really don't want to bump it. So let's start with the truck somewhere over here. And I will take my first photo. There you go. I'll move the truck a little bit, take another photo. And I keep doing that in very small increments. The bigger the increments they are, the faster the truck appears to be going. The smaller the increments, the slower will be going. Now it is very important that you do not bump your phone or your background when you do that, or you will really see the movement into your final video. It's probably not good for me that I'm resting my arm right now on this desk because it's not a very stable table and you will probably get some movement in there, but you get the idea. We'll just do it for demonstration. I can't even see the screen. I'm assuming the truck is still in there. We'll just do this quick, just a few frames, just like that. And the truck is out of the frame. Now let's see what we got. If we go to the play button on the right and click on it, you can see our truck moving through the frame, just like that. That is my animation. And now to save it into the camera roll, you will go to this arrow to go back and then you go into the arrow on the top left to go back and now you hold down into your video and just say uh, export movie and then just save video and now if you go into your camera roll your video will be awaiting for you over there and then you can just play it and just like that we created a stop motion animation video. I cannot wait to see what you will create with this app. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing. I will see you in my next video.
Ah. <sighs>